Okay, are you ready to talk about tone production? I hope so. You have to hold your flute the right direction, okay? Look for the long side of the lip plate. That's the side, the larger side, that's the side that belongs on your face, okay? The long part of the flute is going to go towards your right. Now, if you're watching this on the video, which I know you are, and you have a hard time with your right and left, you may actually be holding it the wrong direction. Now you'll notice, my right is that way. <laughs> Make sure we get that right to start with. The long side, again, the long side goes on your face. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to discover our very special spot on our lip underneath our lip, I should say, where the flute is going to go. Okay, look carefully. The inside edge, which is the one that's going to be closest to my face, is going to be right the little spot that touches where my lip ends and my skin begins, right at the very same spot. Some people call that the sweet spot, but we may move it just a tiny bit after we start learning more about playing the flute because everybody has their most special spot. Now it's really important for you to not be too smiley while you're doing this even though you may be excited. I want you to watch me place my flute in my very special sweet spot right here where my skin and my lip come together on the inside edge. Easy? Okay, now don't put it on like this or like this. Let's put it on nice and straight. Good. Now you may not be able to feel where that is very well at first, but the little feelers in your lips get a lot stronger and you'll be able to get it. Now I want you also to be careful not to put the hole in towards your lips too much, okay? I'll turn around and demonstrate this as well. Now be careful not to let the flute roll in. Just keep it nice and lateral with the ceiling for now. Good, here's a little device that I have that will show you where your Airstream is going to go. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I'm saying, And I'm aiming my air in a nice direction, angled, not straight down, not too straight out, and definitely not up. Have you ever used a water bottle or a glass bottle to blow across and make a fun sound? Well, this is the same thing. Watch. I'm angling my air again. Just make sure you remember that. Blowing it straight across won't do it. Because none of my air is catching inside of the bottle. I need to split my air stream on the outside edge. That's all you need to know. Of course, I put, if I put all of my air inside the bottle, nothing would happen. Is the right way. I also have a fun little pinwheel that I can blow on to show you how hard I'm blowing, okay? About that hard. My goodness, we're ready to play. So do you remember the spitting that I taught you earlier? We're going to use that now, okay? By placing the flute right where I showed you. Before I get there, I'm going to practice. Remember to think ooh, too, without your voice. Let the air catch. I'm going to use the curved head this time because I haven't demonstrated that yet. The curve should be held in your left hand. See, my left hand. The straight will be held with my right. 
so that the long side of the lip plate is the part that is on my chin, underneath my lip. So I'm going to feel for that edge, the inside edge right here, and I'm going to split my airstream by spitting part of it into the flute and part of it out on an angle about right there. Can you do that? Practice it a lot and then come back for the next video, okay?